Because never, never have we as Wisconsinites been through anything like what we experienced this last year. And it's great to be here at Fighting Bob Fest with so many familiar faces from around the Capitol. People I recognize from rallies and protests and not just in Madison, but from all around the state of Wisconsin. And I know everybody here has been engaged. You are the people fighting every day for democracy, social justice, and to ensure that every worker has a meaningful voice on the job. We've been through a lot together this year. We showed the world that an injury to one is an injury to all by mounting the largest uprising our state has ever seen. Hell, not just our state, but any state in the country. We battled back in the streets, in the courts, and at the ballot box. Every day we talk with our friends and neighbors, educating our fellow citizens about the disastrous effects of Scott Walker's agenda. And at every step, the labor movement spoke out on behalf of our 250,000 members, the voiceless, the poor, the disenfranchised, and the entire taxpaying middle class public in order to provide a check on the corporate influence, greed, and power that we saw taking hold here in Wisconsin. <laughs> Together, all of us, we brothers and sisters, we are doing nothing less than building a movement. And we have rocked Wisconsin and sent a message around this country. And the reason is, our Governor Walker and his allies in the Assembly and Senate, well, they've seen it as their cause to launch an all-out assault on working families across the state. They've been attacking workers' rights, stripping collective bargaining rights of public employees, smashing dissent by pushing voter suppression, undemocratic, highly partisan redistricting lamp, uh, maps, a budget that raised taxes on the poor while giving millions of tax breaks to corporations and the super rich, while pursuing a state budget that slashed health care, education, and funding for our local communities. This, brothers and sisters, this is class warfare at its finest. But remember, sisters and brothers, remember, it's only warfare if we fight back. And fight back, we are, right? Fight back, we are, right? Workers, union members from the public and private sector, middle class families, teachers, farmers, vets, faith community, advocacy groups, young, old, from all parts of the states have come together to make a statement of enough is enough. We want our state and we want our democracy back. We hit the streets in Madison, occupied the Capitol, turned out by hundreds of thousands to the chance of this is what democracy looks like. Tell me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. One day longer. starting a middle class action across the entire country and indeed making those voices heard across the world. Walkerville, sleeping out on the cement sidewalks around the Capitol to call attention to these unjust budget calls. The Recall Express Tour, we talked with Wisconsinites around the entire state, in neighborhoods and communities, having a discussion with them about how Walker's agenda is affecting them as working people in the state of Wisconsin. 
and thousands of volunteers working together in Republican districts to gather 150,000 signatures in less than six days to recall six Republican senators. Called two anti worker Republican senators who stood with Scott Walker and they stood with Scott Walker and he stood with him over the constituents who they were elected to represent. We recalled them, we made history. And brothers and sisters, I don't think we're done yet, right? Now. is not supposed to lose control of his audience. <laughs> but you know, besides recalling those two Republican senators, don't forget, in the process, we also successfully defended three Democratic friends who stood with us. And who, with their allies, were brave enough to leave the state of Wisconsin so that there was time to mount the offensive every day. From snowy days and cold temperatures to the hot and humid days of the summer, you were there to light a fire under the people of Wisconsin, and for this, I thank you. Scott Walker has two less rubber stamps to do his bidding. And it is clear that we are changing the hearts and minds of voters around the state. And they know that we need politicians in office who will put the people first and not politicians who work for their corporate allies. Politicians who understand the need for government to protect workers' rights, not the need for government to take our rights away. And the best thing about this movement is it has, it has always been and will always be a grassroots movement to restore democracy in Wisconsin. The stories of this planned and organic response are told in video and song. And there are, always countless, there are also countless stories of courage and creativity of people saying, enough is enough. And this is what democracy looks like. And now we need to move forward and build a better state for ourselves, for our children, for our grandchildren. We need to focus on rebuilding the middle class and extending a hand down and helping people raise their standard of living, not force them down and to lower standard of living. on a three-point agenda, restoring democracy in our communities and in our workplace. We talk about shared sacrifice. We ask the question, what about shared prosperity? Yeah. Enough tax breaks for corporations invest in us as workers, the middle class, so we're better prepared to compete in this global economy. But that's not what we've seen so far. You all know you know, it's not the working person who drove Wall Street off the map with the greed and lack of deregulation and oversight. We didn't create the huge draft deficit, trade deficit that's stealing our job. And we have choices to make here. And we have solutions. And Governor Walker and the Fitzgerald brothers, 
Workers must be seen as part of the solution and not attacked as part of the problem that we didn't create in the first place. And that means treating us with respect. And to us, that means recognizing the value of unions. The middle class is shrinking rapidly. The middle class is shrinking. Working Americans need to use the strength of our numbers to fight for better wages and benefits, job security, and safer workplaces. Wisconsin needs jobs. We need jobs. We need to work. We need to support our families. We need to pay taxes. We need to have good family supporting jobs with good pay, good benefits. You know, union jobs. And workers acting together through their unions and through coalitions are the best defense to stop the attacks on the middle class. Without our efforts, we cannot restore balance to economy, to this economy, and the corporate attacks will go unanswered. So brothers and sisters, our challenges are in front of us. Our futures will depend on how we respond to them. But we have shown the world that in Wisconsin, solidarity is not just a slogan, but a way of fighting the fight. and grow the middle class. You know, there was a time in history when America relied on the union movement to build the middle class. We did it then, and we can do it again if policymakers and people stand with us in solidarity, stand with us to help workers organize into collective bargaining units. So let the word go out. Let the word go out from here at Fighting Bob Fest that the labor movement is united with its progressive allies, that we're standing and we're moving forward in that solidarity. Let the word go out from here that we will continue to protect our rights, move our agenda. We will not run back. We will not back down. We will not just play defense. We will never give up. We will be one day longer, one day stronger. Forward, together, forward, together. Best brothers and sisters, this is what democracy looks like.